Hey guys, it's your favorite Philly girl here in Enugu, Nigeria, and guess what? I'm giving birth right here in Enugu, Nigeria. I'm not going anywhere. So I'm gonna tell you everything that was required of me in my hospital bag. No, <laughs> this is Nigerian version. My hospital bag. <laughs> We're gonna talk about everything that's in my box. <laughs> All right, so stay tuned, it's coming right up. first time here on my channel I'm a Nigerian American that relocated all the way back to Nigeria and I give you front row tickets to my exciting life so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go ahead and hit that notification button because I don't want you to miss out on anything if you're a returnee thank you so much for coming back I'm so sorry I've been in my a but weekly videos are coming at you by the week okay <laughs> and um, you know that I've just been away a little bit because of my mommy journey and I'm back. The baby has been delivered. If this is up, the baby has been delivered. Just know that. So let me just go ahead and reveal to you guys. I have decided to give birth right here in Enugu, Nigeria. It was actually a very easy decision. I think there were external factors that I had to basically address. But for me, I wanted to be with my husband and in the comfort of my home. You know where I have a nice nursery where I have my comfortability you know I don't have any of these things if I go back to the US I don't even have a car so the real big thing was um, just making sure my child was able to have dual citizenship and now that I know that I'm like ah, I can give myself everything here so I'm gonna have my baby at prime care hospital it was recommended to me uh, by Chief Vera if you guys want to know prime care is in Transco new GRA five minutes from my house and um, I have Dr. Ugu, hope I pronounced his name right, he's there on Tuesdays and Saturdays, he's really really good, very very reputable um, and experienced, he holds lots of titles, he's doing some government work, um, he's representing the hospital as one of the top clinics, uh, one of the top physicians there, so yeah, he's a really cool doctor, I could be myself, I don't have to fake an accent, I don't have to do any of those things, and I really like him, so I'm looking forward to giving birth. Now, I did prepare myself mentally to give birth in Nigeria way before I made the decision, mainly because I wanted to in the first place, but I was um, already on YouTube, and I already knew that in Nigeria, they actually to bring a lot of stuff, um, so I wasn't like shocked by it, and a lot of the stuff that was on my list I have already seen other YouTubers post their, uh, you know, delivery hospital bag, and I was like, okay, it's my turn. So we're gonna go through the list, and I'll try my best to, you know, make the video really entertaining. I'll show you when we went to the market, how much things cost as of today when I recorded the video, um, and yeah, we'll just walk through how I am packing my hospital bag. So first thing on the hospital bag list are Neo gloves. Um, these gloves are actually expensive and everyone at the market was really surprised that the hospital wanted two pairs. Now from what I hear from other ladies on YouTube, if they don't use everything, I'm definitely allowed to take it home. But I'm really honest with you guys, the staff is really great, the doctor is really great. If they keep this up, so delivery day, I'm probably just gonna donate whatever I don't use to them. Um, no big deal. So Neo gloves, um, and they asked for the size. I'll show you the list. So they let us know what size they need and how many they need. So medium Neo gloves, um, latex powdered medical examination gloves. And when I went for my uh, antenatal, I noticed uh, a nurse carrying this box around. So this was the exact brand they wanted. Next is Sablon. Um, this is an antiseptic uh, germ killer and it's made by Johnson & Johnson. If you guys know exactly what this stuff is used for, please let me know in the comments below. I mean, I guess by the time this video drops, I'll know too, but 
anyone else who's just watching for the first time might just have like the same questions like what are they going to use you know for this <laughs> all right third thing on the list is detox soap and they want it too and you guys know what detox is yeah you're not you're not african if you don't know what detox is so you should know what that is All right, next is JIC, JIC product. Um, it whitens, brightens, and removes stains. Not sure what it's for. Y'all, don't mind. The current be going up and down, like the fan get real loud. Anyway, so yeah, so this is JIC. Um, so it is supposed to whiten and brighten and remove stains. So it's an extra whitening power. I guess it's like a bleach. I'm actually, yeah, it's a bleach. Um, this must be much stronger than the regular bleaches I find in the store. If so, then I'll buy it for my wife. Yeah. So we'll see what this is for. Okay. So next is six rolls of Familia. Familia is the brand. Toilet tissue rolls. There's five because we ran out of toilet tissue and I have to buy some. So I stole from the babies. But um, I'll, you know, restock it, replenish it, whatever. So Familia. Um, I don't really think it matters which brand you use, but they ask for Familia and I really just want to like follow instructions um, just to reduce hassle or them being upset or anything like that. I just want to do what they say. All right, next we have the surgical gloves. Um, I think they're called sterile, sterile latex surgical gloves. All right, and they told us the size, size eight, and they wanted, I think, 10. Yep, 10. Now I didn't mix brands up as you can see but I don't think it matters size 8 sterile gloves okay they asked for aerial launch detergent don't know what that's for don't know what that's for okay this I saw in everyone's YouTube video um, the the ladies set pads, sanitary towels. They told me to get four. Now, I also heard from ladies that I think this is supposed to just be for the bleeding after delivery, but I ordered some adult diapers. Um, and I think I'll, I'll bring this and use this, but I'll also put adult diapers on. Um, I'm not gonna show those in the video, but I did get some adult diapers. Okay, this is the part I was confused about. They asked for rapas, like Ankara rapas, but they put six on there. And I was kind of like, well, first of all, what's it for? And then secondly, six? I mean, six? <laughs> like one is probably like 2,000, you know what I'm saying? Naira, like why would I get six? Um, so I, went to the market and we explained to the lady, hey, it's the, the seller, that it's for the hospital list. And she said that we could use one and cut it so that it would be six pieces. Um, use two, excuse me, and cut it so that it's six pieces. So we bought two and I guess we're supposed to cut them. And she mentioned it's just to hold the baby in, but she said afterwards, um, we can probably still use it and sew something. So I tried to get something I would like. All right, next is olive oil. So Goya Extra Virgin Olive Oil. Um, hey, let me know in the comments below what is this for? <laughs> Only in my job, please tell me what it's for. Okay. Oh, I forgot the powder. Give me one second. Let me get the powder. 
Okay, I'm back. All right, next is um, wipes, uh, powder, um, what's this, oil, baby oil, that kind of stuff. So I was going to get either Avino or Johnson & Johnson, but I went against getting Johnson & Johnson because I'm not really in the, the baby mommy world industry just yet, but I feel like there's always something about Johnson & Johnson. And then the store I was in did not have Avino products, but the seller had, had a three month old. And she told me she really liked Baby Secret. And I think Baby Secret is a German brand. So, I'm losing my breath. So yeah, so I decided to get the oil and the powder of the Baby Secret. I was like, I wanna try it out. Um, why not? She said it was really good. She really, really liked it. And she said to put her baby to sleep. So we'll, we'll see about that. <laughs> okay. Um, you guys know what diapers look like. Diapers, I mean, I bought exotic. They're just diapers. I, I, I don't think I have to show you guys diapers. So. Okay. Just know that I bought a lot. I bought the, the smallest size and I bought a lot because they said that babies go through them. Go through? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to pronounce this wrong. And it's also not written on the box. Um, but I'll do a voiceover and put it in. It's this type of spirit, like an alcohol. And I looked online because I was like, I really want to know what this is for. But apparently it's kind of like the old school way of cleaning the baby's umbilical cord. So you use this and then you use the next thing on the list, which is cotton wool. So I, I thought that was pretty cool because it's a, a method that has been used for a long time. So I mean, I, I thought it was cool. I like. If it works, it works. I don't really care if it's like old or new or whatever. If what if it cleans the umbilical cord and does the job, then that's good for me. Okay, let me grab the last two things. Whew. Okay, delivery mats. Um, yeah, so I guess Nigeria you have to bring everything but the hospital bed, maybe. <laughs> maybe bring your own bed, I don't know. <laughs> but at Prime Care, they wanted me to bring delivery mats. And they said four, so I bought four. And then they also said a small bucket, so this is the size of the bucket. You wanna see the size of the bucket that they got. So, um, a few things that I will put in my bag that is not on the list is, um, baby wipes, I don't think wipes are on the list. So wipes will go on the list. And then just in case I have a C-section or I'm not producing milk right away, I had bought one uh, can of formula and um, we heard that Nan was a really good brand. So I went ahead and got this. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and pack now and we'll see how the packing goes. Yeah, so, hospital bag, you put hospital suitcase. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to bore you to death. While I'm packing, I want you to watch this short clip that basically just shows how much we paid for everything we bought at the market. That's on our list. <laughs> All right, guys, so that concludes everything. This is my hospital 
box, <laughs> not even a hospital bag, night job version. So yeah, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever. I mean, by the time I drop this, the baby's already born, so no concerns. But anyway, drop it because other people might have concerns. Someone might be in my same situation. Like, Kelly, what do I do? You know, Bay lives in Nigeria. I live in Nigeria. I have everything I need in Nigeria. Am I really about to go abroad to give birth? I mean, if it's for citizenship, go ahead and do it. But I mean, if you're a dual citizen, your child is. So, I mean, give birth where you want. Hopefully you guys don't have the struggle I had because everyone literally was just looking at me with, like I had two heads and I'm like, wait. So y'all want me to give birth abroad just so I can say the child was born in the United States but be struggling. Or, but you don't want me to give birth in Nigeria because the child will still have dual citizenship and have everything in abundance. Yeah, so share this video if someone's in that predicament or share this video if it's just interesting as heck, because it is. So comment, like, share, these are amazing ways to support me. Um, the most amazing way that I would appreciate so much is if you subscribe. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscription button and also turn on those notifications so that you get notified every time I post. All right, guys, so wish me luck. Like I said, I already had a baby by the time I dropped this, but wish me luck anyway. Wish me luck in, in mommyhood. Wish me luck in delivery, labor, everything. Like, just wish me luck. So this is it. Thanks so much, guys. Ciao.